What's going on guys? So today's video is actually going to be a remake. Now I did do this video back in, man it was February actually. It was actually at Mentfluential with Timmy from Imagine Sense. And unfortunately that video, like a lot of the videos that I filmed at Mentfluential did not come out very well because of the background noise. So hopefully when I go next time, which I am, that I can actually produce some better quality videos. So we're actually going to be doing a remake of Roberto Cavalli Womo. So this was actually launched in 2016. The classification is an aromatic oriental. The top notes of this fragrance are black, violet, and saffron, with the mead being honey and lavender, and the base is cedar, patchouli, and tonka bean. So from this fragrance, I get a very fresh violet with a lot of sweetness from the honey, but from the tonka bean. The honey in this is actually really well done and very well blended. But I do get some spices from the saffron, and the base is pretty much just woods. The first time that I recorded my video with Timmy, I thought that this leaned a little bit on the unisex side. Boy was I wrong. This was actually a masculine scent. So Momo, clearly it is a masculine scent. At the time, I just thought it was more unisex because of the honey note. The honey and the tonka bean are very sweet. Tonka bean is in a lot of men's fragrance, but honey is not. And at that time, I thought that because of that honey note, that honey vibe that I get, it leaned a little bit on the unisex side, but absolutely not. Seasons, fall and winter, occasions, very versatile. You could wear this pretty much for any occasion. It's a great signature scent for a younger man. An older man can rock this, but if you're a younger gent, this definitely has a playful characteristic vibe to it. But if you're an older guy, this has a playful mature characteristic vibe, if you will. Does that make any sense? It definitely has that vibe to my nose. A younger man can certainly rock this while an older guy as well. Longevity is excellent, nine to 10 hours, and projection is moderate. Now, some people on for granted can say that this is a heavy hitter. Well, on my skin, I get a bit of a moderate. However, the sillage is actually very good. Prices for this beauty online you can get a great deal from $20 to $35 USD. My wife's thoughts on this one, she thinks it's sweet, classy, playful, and sexy. My final thoughts, because we're gonna keep this video short, I think it's a great scent pretty much for any guy out there. If you like sweet scents, this is certainly something I think that you're gonna like. I think it's a very versatile fragrance, great bang for your buck, smells classy but at the same time it smells sexy, playful. This is like a Swiss army knife for the colder seasons. Final rating, four and a half out of five, nine out of 10. Great scent based on the smell, the versatility, the price tag, and pretty much everything. This is a great scent from Roberto Cavalli. I certainly do have to try more fragrances from this house. They, they do have a few men's fragrances out there. I did one years ago, like 2014, when I first started out pretty much, and this one. And this certainly is a phenomenal fragrance. So guys, that's it for Roberto Cavalli Womo. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Share the video, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. Take care, and we'll see you later.